Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the numerical method. Today we will discuss about how we can construct the MATLAB code for the Euler method for solving the first order differential equation with the initial value. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can contact me, either of my email IDs are there. Else, you can simply follow this channel link where you can find the various MATLAB code of the numerical method. Now, since this is the MATLAB code related to the numerical method, so we will continue with uh, from the last series of the lectures related to the MATLAB code of the numerical methods, such as bisection, regular, secant, and many more are there. You can find in the channel name Dr. Gurk under the playlist numerical analysis and its MATLAB code. So what is the objective of this uh, today's lecture is that we will try to construct the MATLAB code of the Euler's method for any of the arbitrary function f of x. So you can replace this f of x as per your uh, choices are there. For example, if you are trying to construct the MATLAB code of this problem, then your f of x will be y, y square minus x square. Otherwise, this is your f of x, this is your f of x and so on. That's depending upon your problem to problem. So we will try to construct the MATLAB code in general, in general in this video. So what is the Euler method is that the, the, uh, the updation equation of the Euler method is this, that is y i plus 1 is y of i plus h is nothing but called as the step size and f of x i is the function values are there. And after finding the values of the y i, you can update the values of the x i by using here. Uh, we can try to solve one of the equation, like one of the example are here. And you know that how we can solve in our previous lecture, how we can solve the Euler's method numerically. So we will follow the same techniques like here. Uh, your target is to complete this table in a very simple manner. So you can follow this lecture uh, once you uh, one before watching this MATLAB course so that you may able to recognize the terminology what I, I have used in here. So let's see uh, on the MATLAB window how we can define that. So uh, before starting with any of the MATLAB programming, you have to write the format short that is which is display up to the four decimal places. I think all of you know that like say if I write as a one by three, so you can see the output is display up to the four decimal places. If you write here as a format long, then if you again write one by three, you can see the output are display up to 16 decimal places. Similarly, uh, I can again write as a format short, you can write as a 10 by three, so again are up to the three, four decimal places. What is the meaning of the clear all are there? Whatever the variable you have stored, this will be clear. And this is the clear the screen. You can see this, uh, so many texts are written here. So I can write as a CLC. It means now the clear screen are there. Now, once you are defining these three things, now we can try to construct the MATLAB code of this one. The first thing is that you have to define the function or the objective function, and then you have to put the input parameter. So in this case, what is your function? This is my function. You have to find the uh, Euler method for this function at the point, point 1. So you have to define the function in here. That is f at the rate of x comma y, whatever there, y minus x divided by y plus x. So look at that. What is the meaning of this? So if I write here for the f, once you will write, you will hear. So what is the meaning of that? If I compute the value of the 1 comma 2, so what is the answer of the f1 comma 2? Look at that. What is the f of 1 comma 2? If you substitute here, that is 2 minus 1 upon 2 plus 1, that is 1 by 3. So you can see, if I write here and press the enter, you can see up to the four decimal places. Why? Because I use the format short. Similarly, if you want to calculate the 3 comma 6, then the answer will be here. You can find the 6 comma uh, 100. You can see the answer will be here out there. So once you are defining the value of here, now you can input the values. Now, uh, whatever the object, whatever the Euler method function you have, you have to replace the function here. After that, you have to put the input that is like here. What is that? This is initial value of the x0 is 0 and initial value is my 1. So either you can write like this way or else you can write here as x is my 0, this one. So you can use either of them. But if you use this, that's, uh, that is called as the user defined. So you can change the value also. Whenever you will run the program, you can change it at any time. So you have to use input, enter the value of the x. What is the meaning of that? If I write for you like here, input, enter the x. So once you will enter here, you can see that they will ask you enter the value of x. If, if I write as a 0, so the value of the x stored has a 0. 
similarly you can input the value of this y also so i can write here as a y is input the value of the initial value of the f of y of x that is y of whatever the x you have provided after that you have to input the value of the h how many step size you want again you can have uh, again you want to write here if you want to write this you can write them but i always recommend it to use this that's a user defined enter the step size remember that uh, i have no space so i have to read in the next line but you have to continue this like here step size of h this you have to write in the same line r once you are there then your target will be to compute the value at 0.1 so then you have to put use the capital x input the x at which y is required so uh, in this particular example you need the capital x as a 0.1 but if you want to use the capital x as a point 3 then whatever the input you have to put uh, use them accordingly once you are here then uh, as per our theory class we will try to construct this uh, table are there so in order to construct the this table i first task is to define this heading of the table how you define the heading we need the x y f x y and the new y i called as the name as a variable so variable x in what commas y and then so on and then in order to define how many columns are how many rows are there or how many equations we can set the initial counter as a 1 once you set initial counter as a 1 it means you have to put the value here what is the value of the initial x is 0 what is the initial value of the y is 1 that is x and y is already stored whatever you have to put the input as x and y now uh, how many equation step you want to continue so that step will continue until your capital x that is your target value like here and whatever you have to put the input value so whenever x will be greater than or is equal to x you have to uh, until this condition met you have to continue this value like here the next value is 0 point here so this value is this next value is again it will be plus 0.50 and so on until whatever the x you have to provide it this will satisfy you can print the output at each of the station like here you can see uh, still the values are here you can print the values uh, print f the value of the y at x is equal to whatever the x you have to input is this one so what is the meaning of that uh, whatever the value of the x you have provided it will print it now how you compute the value of the f of x y so f of x y is the function we have stored in the form of the f so f x comma y that is a computation of the f x y then your target is to compute the value of the new y by using this the formula for the euler method that is y plus h time f of x y so f of x y is stored in the form of the f x y so i can write here that is a compute the new y but once you will compute the new value how you can print them into the table so in order to use for the printing purpose you can define a variable i call as the rsl call as the result or you can use them with your name k is the loop file this is k initial one that is the first row x whatever the value of the x here there's a y this f of x y i store in the form of the f x y and this new y is store in the form of the new y r here so once you will write here it will be complete printing of the first row then what will happen now you have to go to the second row that is k will be updated as k plus 1 update the equation once you will update the equation your target is to compute the new value of the x so what is the rule for the euler method is the new value is the previous value plus the updation size are there so i can write the same equation as here previous value whatever here plus of the h h is a you have to already define how you define the value how you calculate the value of y here so as we discussed in the theory class whatever the value of this new y you calculated that is will be a small y that is you can call as the y is new of y and once you will calculate the y again it will be go again back to be here again calculate the value of the fx y it will be stored here again we will calculate the new y printed now the k will be 2 so it will be the second row complete and so on until your values will be completed until you will get the values at desired capital x as my point 1 now once you will complete this how you can print the output are there now how you can print the output you can see now you can see that if i clear the screen here now you can see uh, 
after after writing here you can see i have to print it the value of the rsl so you can see the rsl r here but if you look at the output i need the target value of here x y i want the heading also so how you can heading them you have to put the table form array to table so i can write here as array to table of the rsl because i want this table into the table form so once you will write here you can see the output are rsl whatever you want this is the first rsl2 second column rsl3 four are there but do you want this output rsl1 2 3 4 no why because we want the output with the name x with the name y and so on so have you saved this value x y f x y yes we save with the name as a variable so we will pass this variable name as whatever the name you have used properties variable name of the how many columns with the name of this variable so once you will write here you can see if i write here you can see 1 x y f x y new y r now the heading will be change automatically are there instead of the previous value of rsl 1 2 3 so this is the way you can change the value of this now finally how you can print the optimal results are there now what is the optimal result is this is the value of the optimal result y of 0.1 so i can print the value of output of the y add the value of the capital x whatever you want is this value are stored in the form of the rsl this is the last row so i can put them the row as a end what is the value of this is the column that's the second column are there so once you will write here this will be the end of the code so look at that if you simply copy this line if you see if you have the another objective function you have to write this instead of this you can use them here and so on so if i run this file for you you can see they are asking the initial value i can say the initial value is 0 what is the initial value at y is equal to 0 is say 1 what is the step size is say 0.0525 what is the value of the x you want is say 0.1 now you can see uh, the values at each iteration so value of the y at 0 is 1 value of the y at 0.025 is 1.25 you can see the output also value of the y value of the y at 0.05 is 1.025 you can see the value at 0.05 value at 0.05 is 1.0488 1.0488 because it is up to the four decimal places i have written here similarly for this and similarly for here and finally you can print the values finally you can print the values you can see the output of the y at 0.1 is 1.09264 so this is the 0.1 is a target value you have to save in the form of the capital x So this is a simple MATLAB coding of this Euler's method. I hope you can enjoy this session too. We will see in our next class how we can define the uh, modified Euler methods and its MATLAB code for solving this differential equation. Till then, you can simply follow this playlist for finding this more updated MATLAB code of the numerical methods. Here is the link for the channel. Thank you very much. Best of luck, students.